Good morning. Welcome. Thanks for tuning in to the Kila Chari Torah Daily Halacha Review. Uh, my Manari 613 Mitzvot, Sefer HaMitzvahs, for Thursday the 25th of November. By the way, happy Thanksgiving to those uh, Americans who are celebrating that holiday today. Uh, we'll speak about the Jubilee year and we'll note uh, for our uh, interest and information that we have lost track, unfortunately, of the Jubilee years. While we do keep track, according to a common consensus, of the Shemitah years, the sabbatical years, the years of once every seven years when the land of Israel is to lie uncultivated, unworked, and unharvested, uh, we seem at some point to have uh, lost track of the Jubilee years, uh, the, sev- the, the year following the seventh cycle of seven. In other words, 49 years, the 50th year is a Jubilee year, uh, which uh, has a number of halachas, uh, uh, mitzvahs, that pertain to it, as we'll discuss uh, today. So uh, these are, uh, we're waiting to observe these till the coming of the Messianic era, when all these things hopefully will be straightened out for us. Uh, three mitzvahs to mention today. We are forbidden to cultivate the soil in a jubilee year. So if you remember, uh, in the sabbatical year, the Shemitah year, we are forbidden to cultivate the soil. So let's say the, uh, uh, the last year of a cycle happens to be the seventh year, happens to be the seventh of seven. So it's the 49th year of a Yovel cycle, of a Jubilee cycle. The 50th year also, we're forbidden to cultivate the soils. That means that two years, the land will lie fallow. Similarly, the following uh, prohibition, negative uh, mitzvah number 225, we're forbidden to reap the aftergrowth of the Jubilee year, like uh, as, as we do in any other year. So things that grow on their own, or the aftergrowth, we're not allowed to harvest those. Then, as you might uh, uh, surmise from yesterday's uh, mitzvahs, uh, we're forbidden to gather fruit in the Jubilee year like we would in other years. So when trees uh, of their own accord uh, give forth fruit, uh, we're, not allowed to, uh, we're not allowed to harvest those. Uh, one more mitzvah, actually, yeah, one more mitzvah we'll speak about uh, today, uh, selling our holdings. We're forbidden from selling our holdings in Israel into perpetuity. In other words, not allowed to sell the land of Israel uh, for good. Uh, that's uh, considered an invalid sale, and the land must be, re- uh, must be returned to its original owner uh, at the Jubilee. Um, yes, interesting conversation uh, about that with, vis-a-vis the, with regard to the Shemitah year, uh, where there has been a solution devised in the last 150 years or so, 140 years more or less, uh, of, uh, of heter mechira, of uh, selling the land temporarily, uh, to uh, non-Jewish ownership, so that it's exempt from uh, from uh, these uh, restrictions of uh, these limitations of produce, uh, uh, farming, gathering, uh, planting, reaping, and so on. Uh, so uh, important and interesting conversation, uh, particularly as it's happening now. Uh, please uh, join us again tomorrow, and we'll continue talking about some of the uh, mitzvot that have specifically to do with the land, specifically, specifically the our holy land, the land of Israel. Have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow.